Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we'll be doing a quick post processing、um, with this weathering stick on our 3D printed PLA objects. This weathering stick applies an effect that makes your print or object looks like they've been through the desert or just having that worn out look. Let's start. All we have to do is just apply it onto the print, and then we wait for it to dry. If you apply too much of it, you can chip it off later after it dries, or use a damp piece of paper cloth to wipe it off. It sticks on fairly well directly to PLA. You just apply it, and then wait for it to dry. Relatively simple. The weathering stick does seem fairly easy to use. Now, instead of the crystal, let's move on to something more exciting. This cubone skull, which I post-processed last experiment. I want to make this skull look like it's been through the desert, so it's a bit dirty, yellowish, to make it more realistic. I'm going to use a damp piece of paper cloth here to smudge it across the skull. The crystal, on the other hand, which wasn't post-processed, and we ended up directly applying the weathering stick onto the filament, is a bit harder to smudge and clean. After you are done post-processing the print, let it dry for 30 minutes to an hour. Let's take a look at the finished product. The crystal-wise, it doesn't scratch off or smudge and stays off relatively nice. Although this weathering technique didn't really add much to the crystal. But now let's take a look at our cubone skull. It's a bit yellowish now and looks a little worn out. The effect which I was hoping for. It also sticks on really nice and. Also filled in the gaps I made with the putty earlier nicely. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. Well, there we have it. We tried using a weathering stick to post-process our prints directly on PLA and on models that we already tampered with. I would say the weathering stick works pretty well, and it sticks relatively nice onto PLA. It was relatively simple to create the sandy and worn-out effect that we wanted. So, if you are looking to post-process your prints with the same effect, this weathering stick works pretty well. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering You. The platform has a lot of resources like 3D printed courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.